right, Hawkins here with the uh, Chicken Hunt Farmstead. And today, it's gonna be more of a product review kind of thing. Uh, and a build, and one, it's gonna be on these brackets here. These brackets are Eastern Jungle, what's it say? Eastern Jungle Gym. Uh, they allow you to build an A-frame structure very quickly, they say. Uh, the two, I got two of these brackets and all the hardware necessary. These are nice big lag bolts and washers uh, to build this with. The since a simple concept is got a four x four, a four x four, and a four x six on top. So two of these brackets, one here, one here, four x six in between, and you have your a, a frame structure to put a swing on uh, or any kind of hanging obstacle kind of thing. Uh, we're going to be using this for more of like a porch swing kind of thing outside in this area here. So we're going to see if it really is as simple as slapping them all together and seeing what happens. Uh, the bolts that come with it, or the, the hardware, it's a half inch, so we're going to be using our half inch impact. And I got four four by fours, yeah, four four by fours that are eight feet long, and I have a four by six that is eight feet long. Thinking that's going to be good enough because uh, I want it at least six foot off the ground. And where these are going to be angled out, I know it's not going to be eight feet off the ground. I don't think. So, we're going to see how that works out. And see how wide that is and see what it looks like. But we'll see if it really is as simple as they say. So, let's get to putting this thing together. All right, so the problem I thought might occur is what happened. Uh, a lot of problems with these brackets when you're using treated wood, when the treated wood, when you buy it, it's wet. You know, it's swelled up with whatever it is they use for the treating process. It's all I can assume. And it always is bigger than the dimensions of the bracket you get. I got the same brackets for this little um, pragula, whatever it was. Uh, but there was little foot brackets that the ends were supposed to go in. They wouldn't fit. They were all too big. It was new wood. So either let your stuff dry out for a while, or you're gonna have to do what I'm about to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and sand some of that off on one of the ends. Because one of the ends is fine, because you can tell a difference in the weight of one side of it to the other, I guess, just the way it was sitting in the warehouse or something, I don't know. But, luckily I got a big uh, belt sander, so I'm gonna grind, or grind off. Sand off, you know, just, I mean, all it needs is a little bitty bit. We're talking about like an eighth of an inch or something like that. So I'm gonna grind or sand off a little bit on each side real quick, and hopefully it'll go on snug. All right, after just a little bit of sand on each end, I was able to get this thing slid on. And I just realized I slid it on the opposite of the other end. It's not gonna work. Learn from that mistake. both these on nice right where we want them I'm doing to the edge of the plate here 15 inches like I said this is for like a porch swing style we're playing a hanging a pod plant off each end so I'm assuming I'm just like I said I'm just guessing on most all this I don't know how tall this thing's gonna be with the eight foot legs and maybe way too tall but we'll find out here in a minute so we'll go ahead and uh, fasten these on because I got them in the plate 
place I know I want them for sure. Now the legs are on, the top's on. Uh, I'll definitely say after looking at it, the legs look a little long. But let's set up and uh, see if they really are <laughs> as long as they look on the, while they're laying on the ground. Well, there we have it. Standing up. Still got to put my structures on for the swing. Uh, that's a whole different part. This is about the brackets. Uh, there is going to be more than enough room here. Uh, like I said, I did 14 inches from the edge to the edge of the bracket. But yeah, with the, the way it's shaped and everything, that's going to be more than enough room. And for a swing, I really don't think it's too high with the 8 foot. Uh, Say so overall it's staying in six and a half feet in the air so not too bad uh, you could do it a little lower but I wouldn't want to do it too much lower because I do want these high so there's no hitting your head on or anything like that it looks a little high I like just looking at it but I think once you get used to it once we paint it up it's gonna look pretty nice uh, the brackets yeah other than the one side over here for the top that I had to cut down or uh, sand down went a lot it just kind of has to do with the the wood itself not the bracket and it came with all the hardware and they look strong and they're gonna be heavy uh, you can see each leg has two on each side and the top has three on each side so overall pretty pretty nice little pro product and pretty easy to use and I'm pretty sure you could get away with making these a whole lot longer than they are there We probably could you know easily went to the outside of these now with a two by six up there. I mean Yeah, that's a I want to say eight foot up there if I remember right So yeah, because everything was eight foot uh, you could easily do it oh, up to 12 So if you're building a playground, this would be a very inexpensive option. I think um yeah, I have to flash on the screen at this point. I don't even remember how much I paid for the wood beams and everything. But I'll get a total uh, flash on the screen now. So, All right, that's it. Don't forget, uh, hopefully we got more projects coming, more reviews, and some tour reviews soon. Have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe.